will get it wrong. I always do. And they are close cousins, so you're going to have to see that there's more than one reason for them to be confused. This is a polyglot talk because of the influences that are coming into F sharp and F star. They are different, but they have a lot of overlap. And there's a lot of influences they also impose on the places where they have affected the industry as in both in languages and in terms of technology that they um, support. So, um, and if you've experimented with other functional first languages, and I'm talking about Scala or pure functional languages like Rock or Haskell or any, anything in that echelon. So hopefully I can find enough to irritate all of you and everyone will be equally uh, Anyone that, that knows one of these uh, terms here will be equally irritated by the fact that I didn't give it uh, proper justice because this is going to be a speed run. And that's because both its influence on the .NET ecosystem as well as the influence that it had from, it took from other ecosystems outside of OCaml, as, and we'll see in a minute, that this actually is, uh, if I put a check mark for every time OCaml was mentioned in this talk or should be mentioned in this talk, there'd be a ton of check marks around OCaml because of all the, the shared edges that it has with a lot of other stuff. And the, the 2007 is interesting because async was added and that's when async and reactive kind of became more of the lingua franca that ends up kind of permeating throughout the, the different echelons of programming languages that were being developed at Microsoft Research that then went out into other areas the things that F Sharp did to go beyond OCaml was to adopt the mailbox processor from Erlang to be able to express agent or actor models where you could have encapsulation. Um, Python's now been added um, because of the Python. There's two influences from Python um, on F Sharp and one was very early where um, F Sharp departed from OCaml by getting rid of like line terminations and using annotation as scope as a way to uh, manage the way that um, the, the, the semantics or, or, or syntax is, is managed within the app. But to my point of what I was saying about types are better than tests and, uh, and proofs are better than types. So uh, many of you don't know what F star is, but everybody has used technology that F star has built. And that's because it's been used for TLS 1.3 and 1.2, uh, a lot of the uh, uh, proofs for the quick protocol, um, for security around that. There's a ton of other stuff, and that's why this really super busy thing that looks like spaghetti is there. And down the little lower right-hand corner is what we care about, OCaml and F-sharp. Um, so that's the third demo, which is the one that really, I guess, people are going to care about, about seeing um, what the deal is between F star and F sharp.